Hey there everyone, welcome to Violet Stream Tarot. I'm so happy to have you back on my channel. Now, you may have noticed that the background looks pretty different from how it used to look, and that's because I've now moved to Russia. So yesterday I arrived in Russia, um, and today, after recovering from my long journey and my jet lag and having got sleep because I arrived really early in the morning, um, I've moved into my new place and I'm ready to start shooting videos again. So today's reading is why are they acting this way? And this is for anyone who is perhaps in a relationship or situationship with someone and you just want to figure out why they're acting the way that they are. Um, but it's not necessarily just for that. It can be for a friend, family member, colleague, just anyone that you can't figure out their behavior and you want to know why they're acting the way that they are. So we're going with a bit of a Russian theme today. As you can see, um, these cards are Divine Circus cards and they're pretty Russian looking. I really, really love them. It's one of my favorite decks of all time. And also on our piles today, we have Masha i Medved. I don't know if you know about them, but they are from a Russian children's TV show. It's called Masha and the Bear in English and you can watch it in other countries. Um, it is translated but there's not really much dialogue in it because it's for young children so it's a really really cute show if you want to watch it look it up Masha and the Bear Masha i Medved. Masha is uh, a nickname for anyone who is called Maria in Russian it's like a shortened version um, so I had these actually came from a kinder egg a very big kinder egg and it was one of my last days in Germany. I opened this Kinder Egg. Um, I think it was literally the night before I left Germany and there they were. And it was like this wonderful omen that I was gonna love my time in Russia. So on pile number one, we have Medved, the bear. And he's just really sweet and happy. He's a lovely bear. And he's meant to be holding this watering can, but it keeps falling out of his hand and I didn't have anything else to make three piles. So pile number two is this sweet little watering can. It's really cute. And pile number three is Masha herself with this little umbrella. She's really cute. And I don't know why she's about four years old, but she's dressed like a Russian babushka with this cloth tied around her head. I don't know why, but she's really, really cute. And I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise from the street. I am on the 15th floor, like I'm on the top floor of a really high building, but I'm on one of the main streets in a huge city in Russia. So I'm sorry about that. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do. The windows are closed and they're really thick because um, in Russia you need a lot of insulation, but I'm sorry if you can hear that really loudly. Uh, I guess it's a slight improvement on Germany where I was living next door to that um, private airport and there was just airplanes every every hour, but I'm sorry about that if that's really disturbing you. So of course we're going to do your charms today as well, I've brought them with me. Um, I would like to say anyone who would like to support me on Patreon to help me buy more decks for the channel and more props like these, um, then please do. It's a pleasure to see you over there. Um, thank you for those who are supporting me on Patreon now. It's such an honor that you think so highly of me and you enjoy my channel so much that you want to give me some donations to help. And um, there are some cool rewards over there. There are exclusive videos. I will be uploading a new one on there soon. Um, pick a cards and there are exclusive posts. And also at the end of each month, everyone who is in the Violet Night tier and above, which I think is $7 a month, you will get entered into a prize draw to win a free reading with me. So that's really exciting. And if you're in that tier, you'll get that opportunity each month. So do check it out. There's a ton of stuff over there that's really fun and it would make my day. The current deck I'm saving for is Tower of the Gnomes for my lovely little gnomes in the background. Um, that's gonna be so much fun. If you don't wanna be a patron, you can still make a donation to my channel. There's a PayPal link in the description box below and that's where the link to my Patreon page is as well. And for anyone who's interested in private readings, because um, I know you really enjoy that, I have a lot of people buying private readings from me, then the link is in the description box below for my Etsy page. So there's a lot of different readings on there. 
So yes, let's get started with pile number one. Take as much time as you need, pause the video if you need to, take deep breaths and um, choose whichever pile you're feeling drawn to intuitively. So not whichever toy you like the look of the best, who's your favorite character, um, you know, whichever is, is calling you from your gut, then that is the pile for you. Okay, really think of the person that you want these answers on and I will see you in pile number one. Hey everyone who picked pile number one, if you were drawn to Miedviet, the bear, then this is the pile for you. I'm just going to put him over there. So let's find out why your person that you're thinking of is acting this way. We'll do your tarot and then your oracle cards and then we'll look at your charms as well. So you've got four of water, ten of air, the star, and the six of air. So what I'm seeing from these cards, um, Aquarius energy is represented here with the star, um, sun, moon rising, possibly Venus sign if this is a romantic um, connection that you're asking about. The four of water and the ten of air tell me that this person has been through a pretty difficult time recently. Um, they may have had a breakup with someone, they may have lost friends or a friend. Um, in general, I just see that this person has had a really tough time of it. And the four of water suggests that they're feeling really apathetic or that has been their energy in the recent past. They're just, they haven't got the energy, the emotional energy, the mental energy, the physical energy to actually make a change in their life, to do anything about it. It's like they're just wallowing, they're moping. Um, they're missing out on opportunities because they're not seeing how they're able to cope with opportunities that come their way. They're not seeing perhaps that they're worthy of these opportunities or they're just not seeing that they're gonna have the strength and energy to fulfill them. And 10 of air is the rock bottom card. This person is really at an all time low and they're really on the floor right now in terms of their mood, their outlook, their hope for the future. They really are feeling completely defeated um, but then you have the star card, which is all about healing, recovery, hope, faith, um, making long-term plans. So I do see this person coming out of this situation. And because two of the cards are about this, um, I think they're possibly already making, um, already making steps to do that. They're already on their healing journey. And six of air is about a positive change in mindset. For some of you, it could be moving away. Um, or taking a trip somewhere just to get away from their environment that just reminds them of um, all of the things that have gone wrong or upsetting memories. Um, but I do see them making a positive change and going through this healing, this recovery. And I think they're already on that journey, but they are still at this kind of feeling of, of being defeated and unable to make a positive change in their life. Um, but I do see them pulling themselves out of that, so that's something to be applauded. So now you've got your Sacred Traveller Oracle card. Impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. And that's exactly what the Four of Water is about. It's about feeling like you can't continue down this path and like there are no opportunities available to you. Because you see here, there's this little squirrel and he's eating his nuts and the Traveller because these cards um, say that life is like a journey. It's one of my all-time favorite decks. It's beautiful. The traveler is on this path, and then the path just leads to this brick wall, and it's like, well, there's nowhere to go past that. It's, it's too high for me to climb over. What am I gonna do? And this is like the squirrel here reflecting on what to do. He's gonna have to go around it or move in a different direction. Um, and that's where this person is at now. They're feeling very much like they're stuck and like they're going to have to change their approach or change their expectations, their hopes for the future in order to recover. And your Moonology card is your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. So that's Capricorn energy now, sun, moon, rising or Venus. Um, but I do feel like this person, whatever you may think of them, I feel like their their actions are to be applauded. They are laudable because they have been making positive steps already to towards their recovery. And it's saying your hard work is paying off. They will come out of this period of feeling stuck and low and defeated. Um, they're not quite there yet, but 
I don't know if the end is even in sight for them, but it will be there. The star is like this light at the end of the tunnel, and that's what they're focusing on, that's what's keeping them going, and their hard work will pay off. They will come out of this difficult feeling of being at an impasse. So you've got a Romance Angel card now, and that's Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So possibly this person came towards you with a romantic offer, or you did the same, and that wasn't accepted. So whoever was making the romantic offer was rejected or brushed off by the other person. Um, it's possible also that they have feelings for you that they haven't declared and they want to declare them, but they just don't see how they can do that. So take that how it resonates, it will be different for everyone. And you got three Antworten der Engel cards, which are German cards. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I was saying that I've moved to Russia, but before that I lived in Germany um, for a while, so these cards I picked up in Germany. So it says, in den kommenden Monaten, in the coming months, bitte andere um Hilfe, ask others for help, and Gelegenheit, opportunity. Okay, so like I said, this is a journey that they're on, and they will come out of this tough time in the coming months, and they're going to do that by asking others for help. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, I've <laughs> got a bit of a cold. So they're going to ask others for help. They can't, they can make it to a certain point on their own, but they can't fully complete this on their own. Um, I'm actually going to move these a little bit further so I can get them all in. So what I see them doing is asking other people for help. And that might in fact be what this Express Your Love card is about. It's about them opening up to others and saying that they need um, that help. They need someone's assistance in order to complete their recovery or to move to the next stage in some way. They just they might just need someone to hold their hand, give them some words of encouragement, um, or they might genuinely need some practical help from someone in, in moving forward. This could even be that they're going to engage a counsellor or therapist, um, someone who is actually trained to help people in their situation. And with Gelegenheit, this is opportunity. So I see real positive changes coming for them in the future. And it's interesting because the Four of Water over there, this is about missing opportunities, not being able to see the opportunities that are open to you. But Gelegenheit is the opposite. It's about, you see her arms uh, open, stretched up to heaven. She's accepting this beautiful golden opportunity that's coming to her. She's completely open and ready for that. So I see a complete change of mindset in this person. So let's see your Divine Circus Oracle card now. I just love how Russian it looks. And I love this deck so much. Her Wicked Ways. Okay, this card is about people saying things to you that are designed to hurt you and to, to shut out your light in the world. This is about bullying. It's about um, people being afraid of what you can offer so they end up saying things or doing things designed to stop you from shining so i'm actually going to read from the guidebook because this guidebook is so beautifully written um so it says you are meant to shine bright to be a sun even in the cold and dark depths of winter bringing warmth to the world some don't like the light they want to freeze your enthusiasm douse your creative fire and rain on your parade don't let them. Shine your light with stubbornness and happiness. Defeat the Snow Queen and her wicked ways. Okay, so this is, like I said, it's about someone making you doubt yourself. It's about feeling not good enough because of what people have told you or what people have done to you. So I think this person has taken some serious knockbacks from other people. Um, like I said, if they did ask someone out and got rejected, then that's really affected their self-esteem um, and their outlook for the future. And it's really hit them hard. So in general, I just see that this person has been negatively affected by other people's actions. I don't see it being like, obviously, obviously we can choose how we react to certain things, but um, I don't see this necessarily being this person's fault. Um, that they're in this situation. For example, they might have lost their job 
or they might have been bullied out of a job and now they can't find a new one and they're just feeling so stuck and like a, a failure um they might have failed some exams for example or not done as well in their exams as they'd hoped it's all things like this um it feels more external than internal but this is a beautiful shining golden light and like i said with her wicked ways it's about wanting to stop someone's light from shining but this is here um, I do feel like this person is not a bad person at all. I think they have lots of admirable qualities, but I think that they've just been dampened by their experiences. So I'm going to pull some charms for you now in this situation. So uh, group number one, why is the person that you're thinking about acting this way? And this is so sad. While I was moving, this explosion charm got broken. <laughs> so sad. So... Why is the person that you're thinking about acting this way? Okay. So you've got V and Y as your initials here. So that could be um, first name, surname, or place in connection to your question. You've got an olive branch here, and that's about um, opening up, reaching out to other people. And interestingly, this you've got bitte andere um Hilfe, ask others for help. So it's like reaching out to others. Um, you've got this wanting to achieve goals with the basketball. So I feel like this person has tried to do something and it's gone wrong. It's backfired on them or they haven't been able to pull it off and that has left them with this feeling of really low self-esteem. There's protection here with this umbrella. I feel like this person is being protected. And there's a knight, so the prince. Um, so I feel like for a lot of people, this person will have tried to make some kind of romantic offer or perhaps an offer of friendship and has been knocked back. Or that may have been you, and that's left this person feeling bad because of the way they acted. You do have Aphrodite here with this shell. Um, so Aphrodite in Greek or Venus in, in Latin. Um, she is the goddess of love and beauty in the Greek and Roman pantheon. So when this charm comes out in a reading, it's saying that this goddess is willing to help you in your situation that you're asking about. So if you are open to working with different gods, if you're that kind of person, then connect with Aphrodite or Venus through prayer or meditation or through just saying out loud, I'm here, I'm willing to work with you, please help me. Um, because this is showing that she is willing to help you and guide you in this situation. So you've got a ballerina here and the ballerina is about treading carefully, wanting to take things one step at a time because you don't want to make a mistake, you don't want to do the wrong thing and or say the wrong thing and then end up being a failure, end up having things not going the way you want them to. There's this cute little character which means someone is quite innocent or naive, maybe quite childish or childlike in this situation. They may also be younger than you. There's also the movie camera and the movie camera is, well, it can mean a few things. For some of you, this person may have an interest in photography or filming. They may make little videos. They may even be a YouTuber um, or possibly something to do with acting, even if it's theater acting. Um, but this also means lights, camera, action. So like getting ready to do something, waiting in the wings to do something and like I said, I feel like this person is going to come out of this situation, and it does say in the coming months here. Yeah, so there's a fire extinguisher here, which is putting an end to a crisis situation. Someone is going to help them to do this. And there's the mermaid, which is all about a lure, feeling seduced or finding someone very alluring. This mirror is about self-reflection really doing thinking about 
your own situation and your own self. And there's passports. So for some of you, this person may be at a distance or they may be traveling or moving house. Like I said, with the six of air, that indicates travel. Um, they could possibly be a foreigner from another country or culture. Um, but I'm feeling this person might might move somewhere or or travel somewhere as part of their recovery process. And it's interesting that you've got the watch on this card in the coming months because this means divine timing. So everything will work out in divine timing over the next few months. Hmm, and you've also got Cupid or Eros on Express Your Love. Um, so I do feel like this is a romantic connection for many of you. And possibly this person asked you out or expressed that kind of interest in you or you asked them out but they secretly have feelings for you but they brushed you off. That's what I'm getting from this card. And so that's interesting that you've got two gods coming out for you in this reading to help you. Um, not only Aphrodite, but also Eros in Greek or Cupid in Latin, who is also Aphrodite's son. That's very interesting. So you can work with him as well in this situation. You've got believe. And that's come out on your hard work is paying off. So it's like believe that this is going to happen. And this lovely, lovely charm a little fairy sitting on the moon and she's looking down she's just waiting for all of her wishes to come true and that is what this feels like it feels like maybe this person subconsciously knows that they're going to be able to pull it off or they're just hoping waiting wishing dreaming um this is about them waiting to be able to move on and have a better life waiting for those dreams to come true and I like that it's landed on your hard work is paying off because that's showing that it will happen. It will come together for them. There's also made in Germany. So this person could be German or they could have a German name or German um, family history. They may speak German for some of you. Um, obviously that is fairly specific. So do only take that if it resonates. Um, I feel like that's only for a few of you. But also, they could be traveling to Germany because there's the passport, so that may be where they're traveling, a German-speaking country, possibly even like a German language course, like something to do with that. Um, I'm also hearing it may be a town or place that has a German name. So, for example, if you live in like America or Canada, chances are there's a town or like a like. I'm hearing company as well, like some kind of place that has the same name as like a German town or it's got a German name, like maybe someone's surname is of German heritage and they've given their name to that town or that company. Again, only take that if it resonates because that's very specific and that's really weird and random that that's just come to me. Um, but yeah, if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. Leave it. It's for someone else. Um, but had to say that and get that out. So there's transformation here as well. So... Like I said, this person is going through a transformation and they will come out of this situation. They will make it. Um, it's just a matter of divine timing. There's the gun. So they're carrying some kind of anger, resentment, guilt, blame, these kind of negative energies that um, fill us up and harm us if we don't release them. There's also a good friend here. And that's cute that it's landed just above this card, which is about asking other people for help. Because it feels like they have someone they can really rely on that they're going to turn to for help and who's going to help them put out this, this fire that's ravaging their life. There's growth and stability here. This may not actually stand for just one particular friend. They may have a good friend group also is what I'm hearing. But for some of you, it will be just one particular friend. There's a happy couple here, which may have been what this person was hoping for or dreaming of. Yeah, there's hope here, and like a cheeky little hope. I feel like this person almost doesn't dare to hope that things will improve. There's intuitive, which is Pisces. Um, so they could be a Pisces, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, if this is a romantic question for you. Um, or they could just be a very intuitive person, listening to their intuition now, rather than listening to other people. 
This skull is about letting things go, leaving things in the past that don't serve you anymore. And there's the dragonfly, which is all about good luck. And lastly, we have I love you. So I love that little charm. Oh, actually, there's also this, which is about endurance, strength, continuation, because it's a vine. And you know, no matter how many times you, you cut at a vine, it always ends up growing back because there's always a tiny piece of it that's hiding somewhere. Um, it's incredible how it regenerates. So I feel like this person has a lot of strength and will come out the other side. Um, I, it's very possible this person has romantic feelings for you with that I love you charm. Um, I feel like they have asked you out or they've expressed some kind of romantic interest in you. Um, and for whatever reason, you've not been open or receptive to that. And that's left them feeling really knocked back. Um, really, like they kind of don't know what to do now, but they are on the road to recovery. Like I said, this is a good person, I feel. I don't think this is a toxic person at all. I think this is someone who is really... A nice person and someone probably that you can rely on as well in the future so yeah i hope this reading was helpful for you group number one i hope it resonated with you um do let me know in the comments if it did and please leave me a like so that i know you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on um any new videos that i post i'm so excited because when we're, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers now and when we get there, I'll be able to do community posts, so I'll, I'll be able to write things on YouTube um, so that you can all see it um, and we can kind of communicate that way. I'll be able to t let you know what videos are coming up, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. That's really cool that I'll be able to communicate with you in that way. So yeah, please do head over to my Patreon page. It would mean the world to me if you decided to support me in that way, even if it's just a dollar a month. Um, all of the money that is pledged on Patreon will go towards this channel, buying new decks and props, um, especially decks. I really, I have so many decks that I want to buy that would just make this channel so much richer. And yeah, I'm really excited about that. So please do head over there and check out all of the cool rewards that are over there. And have a lovely day, group number one. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone who picked pile number two with this little watering can. This reading is for you. I'm going to see if I can put this in the bear's hand. Will it stay? Yay! Okay, great. Lovely. Um, welcome to your reading. So we're going to find out why this person is acting this way, this person that you're thinking about. And as always, group number two, you've got the most cards from me. It always happens with my group number two is they get the most cards when I'm shuffling. And I never intend it to happen that way, but it just always does. Um, I'm also sorry if you can hear like like techno music from in the background, because um, someone next door to me or like a few rooms along um, is having like their own little private party, it sounds like, um, which is quite sweet, but also rude when I'm trying to film this video, but they don't know, so it's fine. Um, so I'm sorry about that. So let's look at your tarot cards first, and then we'll do your oracle cards and your charms. So why is this person acting this way? You've got Knight of Earth, Ace of Air, Ego, which is the devil, Page of Air, okay, Release, which is the death card, and page of earth. Okay. Um, there's quite a lot going on here. So knight of earth, page of air, they could be an earth sign or an air sign. Um, cause you've got page of earth as well. So that could be, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if it's earth sign or oh, I always forget this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for uh, air sign. Like I know them, I know them really well, but then as soon as I have to say it like that in a video, completely leaves my mind. So I'm sorry about that. Um, ego is also an earth sign. This is the devil. This is Capricorn. And release the death card that is Scorpio. So sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. I'm already feeling like quite a lot of people will choose this pile because um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of energies coming through. So night of earth. Night of earth is telling me that this person may be quite loyal to you. They may be quite 
dedicated. It's the sense of playing the long game, Knight of Earth. This is someone who doesn't rush into things. So if it's someone that you're pursuing in like a romantic sense, then they don't want to rush into things, is what I'm hearing. Ace of Air. Um, they're coming to the truth of the situation. They're kind of figuring out what their truth is. Um, I'm getting the sense that they kind of enjoy communicating with you. They might be quite a witty, banterous person who likes to joke a lot, um, who thinks they're pretty intelligent, whether they are or not, I can't say. Um, but the Ace of Air is about truths, new ideas, new inspirations, new communication as well. With Ego, the Devil card, this is about addictions, negative behavioral patterns, negative thought patterns, um, so there, there could be an addiction at play here, whether that's a substance, um, like tobacco, um, drugs in general, alcohol, could be gambling, excessive spending, that kind of thing. It's also about these general like negative thought patterns, like anxieties that play into like that kind of th any thought pattern or behavioral pattern that is obsessive and which is not providing us with a benefit. So if someone is doing anything obsessively, even if it's like cleaning the house, if it's negatively affecting their mental or physical health, then that will be represented by the devil. I see also this person possibly being obsessed with something or someone, um, possibly having an inflated ego because the devil is also about ambition um, and drive and if this is in a negative sense, then it would be an inflated version of that. Page of Air. There's some miscommunication going on in this relationship. Um, you're either not communicating or you're not communicating very well with each other. Possibly if you're only messaging rather than speaking via Skype or, um, you know, a phone call, then things are being misinterpreted you know you can't get the tone often when someone is just um sending a message you can't really get the tone of what they're saying very well so there's opportunity for misunderstandings misinterpreting this is also about spying so someone they may see things on your social media that they don't like they may be obsessively checking your social media um because this has come right up next to the devil um looking for updates looking for a message from you possibly there's this feeling of like obsession and and spying coming through here and with release this is them going through a major transformation this is them putting an end to something once and for all moving on to something new um obviously take that as it resonates with your situation they may have gone through a breakup you may have broken up with this person or you may be in a period of no contact or low contact with this person. Um, they may have moved away. There's just a sense of like some ending. Maybe also it's not to do with the relationship and it's to do with an ending in their own life. So it may actually be a bereavement um, for them. It may be that they've finished school, they've ended a job. There's some kind of significant change for them and that is affecting the way they're acting. Because even if it's like a positive thing, like graduating, then they're still feeling like something's come to an end and they're feeling quite sad about that. And Page of Earth, I get the feeling that they're quite focused on their study or their career right now. That may be why if they're ignoring you or if they're kind of not available to chat or meet up a lot, or if you feel like they're distant when you're talking to them, it's because they're focusing on their coin and their studies. Um, the page of earth is this kind of, this focused energy of working and looking towards the future. So let's look at your oracle cards now, group number two. So you've got two sacred traveler oracles. Again, I only wanted one, but two came out. So you've got Wandering Path, Enjoy the Journey, and Wondrous Universe, Walk in Beauty. So what these two cards together tell me is that this person is just enjoying their life right now. Like they're just focusing on them. Wandering Path is about 
rather than getting to a certain point or a certain goal straight away, they're just wondering that they're drifting. You see this map that this fox is looking at? He's got a goal. You know, there is a line plotted out here, but there's lots of things either side of the line. And it's like, he'll sample the local villages, the local forests in between going towards his goal. And Wondrous Universe is also this kind of just enjoying everything. This wizard, I love this card. It's possibly my favorite card in the deck. This wizard is just looking up at the heavens and all of the beauty that is surrounding him rather than um, focusing too much on his goals in the material world. He's just looking up at the beauty in the heavens. He's not walking forward. He's stopped to, to take in this magnificent view. And that is what I'm getting with these cards put together, that this person is just enjoying their life. They're not rushing into anything because there's that Knight of Earth energy as well. And Page of Earth doesn't rush either. Um, you know, I said that they were focusing on their work and their studies, but the Page of Earth takes things slowly. Um, she goes at her own pace so that she doesn't make a mistake. And I just get that this person is just doing what they want to do right now. And if you're in a kind of relationship with this person or you want to be, um, other people aren't their priority right now is what I'm hearing. So your Moonology card is Meditate and Contemplate, New Moon in Pisces. So they could also be a Pisces. So there's lots of like earth energy, air energy and water energy because Scorpio is also a water sign. Yeah, meditate and contemplate. They're just taking their time. They're thinking things through. They're not ready to make any any big moves now. I think they've gone through some kind of big change recently, like with the death card. Um, they're not wanting to make any big moves at the moment. Your romance angel card is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And the Knight of Earth and Page of Earth are both very committed to what they do. If so if this is a love, a love question for you, it may be that this person has been feeling that your relationship has been going into a more committed um, space and that's worried them. And so they're now thinking, actually, am I ready for this? Do I not just want to take time enjoying my life? But we'll see what your other cards and what your charms have to say because then that'll make me decide whether or not um, they're going to continue down this path with you or whether they're going to kind of pull out if this is a romantic question for you. Because um, if it's not, then this is just them again being committed to their own stuff. So let's look at your Antwort and Der Engel oracle cards now. These are from Germany. If you're new to my channel, um, I, I said that I've just moved to Russia, but I did live in Germany before then. Um, for a while, so I bought those there. Compromise. Compromise. Yeah! Exclamation mark. So that's like, yes. And Las Los. Let go. Okay. So, yeah. This Las Los makes me think of the, the death card. The release. Letting go of something. This person has let go of some kind of some kind of commitment, some kind of duty. It's interesting because they both got this same, this same stance, like holding their hands up to heaven. That's interesting. Um, compromise, compromise. You may be making compromises in this relationship. So maybe you're the one who wants to be more committed and this person doesn't, or the other way around, and you're having to reach a sort of compromise. With this Ya yeah card, I'm feeling like, again, this person is just wanting to do what they want to do. And oh my goodness, this is, huh, look at this. So they're both, again, in the same position, but he is also like almost holding these planets. And so is she, she's got the sun and the moon in her hands. It's like this person is kind of thinking, I could have anything I wanted right now. He's, he or she, is seeing the world as their oyster in many ways. They're kind of thinking, I've got so many options right now. There's so much that I could do. And they're looking, they're trying to figure out what it is that they want. They're trying to decide what is gonna be worthy of their commitment. 
And you also got two Divine Circus Oracle cards. Again, I only wanted one. You've got Maven of Masks. And you've got Pixie Piero. Now, this Maven of Masks really makes sense because the Maven... Interestingly, this Devil card, the guy is also masked. Um, so it could be that this person is not being open and honest with you about what they really want. And that would make sense of this miscommunication here. But Maven of Masks is about trying on different personalities, trying on different options um, to see what's best for you. So again, I feel like this person had a lot of options in life and they're trying to figure out what is best for them, what they enjoy the most, what feels the most comfortable and the most right. They, it kind of feels like they're at a turning point in their life. They're at a point where they can make some big changes. And Pixie Piero is about being yourself. Um, it's also about dealing with things from childhood. So if this person had a traumatic childhood um, or possibly has some old wounds from childhood or old beliefs about themselves, you know, people get told things as a child that they're this, they're that. Um, and in school as well, not just by parents. Um, and they grow up believing that. But I feel like this person is really discovering things about themselves that they never knew before or they're discovering that the way they thought about themselves in the past isn't true. So I'm going to read a bit from the guidebook for this deck because I love how it's written. So Maven of Masks says, who do you want to be? Try that self on for size. You might just discover another genuine facet of you beyond your known identity. The Maven of Masks tells you, act as you wish to be and so you shall be. So it's a kind of fake it till you make it card. And for some of you, this person may be like, a toxic person they may have some kind of personality disorder or they may just genuinely be a liar um, is what I'm getting this card doesn't necessarily mean that but I'm getting the sense with the, um, the devil and the page of air there could be some lies being told some kind of deception um, this person may not be entirely trustworthy in terms of a relationship sense um, this person's very much focused on themselves and Pixie Piero says, there is an original you, the you that has always been and will always be you. No matter how much the outer forms of your body, your work, your lifestyle, your world seem to change, the original essential you is always there within, unique, precious, and just as you were created to be. So it's about getting back to the essence of who you are. This is really interesting. So I'm going to pull some charms for you now, group number two. So, group number two, why is this person acting this way? Okay. So, let's just start from the bottom. You've got attraction here with this perfume bottle. You've got warrior. So, I feel like they... They are going through some things because next to warrior, there's also this shield. It's like there's the sense that they're go they're kind of battling with themselves or they're battling with, with things that they've been through in the past or that they're still going through. There's a leaf, which is about shedding, releasing things. Um, so that's interesting that you've got the release card and the let go card. They, they're getting rid of some things from their life. And the spoon is about doing things bit by bit, not rushing, just going step by step. There's kiss here. So this person may have kissed you or they may want to kiss you. And there's a key here. So there's like a solution with this key. You've got inner wisdom with this elephant. And with the gear, this is a new charm that my friend gave to me. Um, the gear is about things already being in motion. So they're already in this process of letting some things go. And interestingly, there's also the haunted house here. So this is about them being haunted by the past. I feel like there are some past traumas um, that they're working through that you may possibly not even be aware of. Um, this may be from their childhood, um, or it may just be in terms of previous relationships or previous jobs something to do with being burnt in the past or having just negative um, experiences in the past. There's also blossoming, this flower. 
and imaginative. So that's Cancer's energy there. So we've got all the water signs now as well. Um, imaginative is about, well, just that imagination, using their imagination. I think they're imagining lots of different realities, lots of different options for themselves right now. And this little charm, which came out in the last group as well, is about them sitting, waiting for their dreams to come true. They're waiting for things to change for them for the better. And like I said, it doesn't feel like they're making any big moves right now. It feels like they're just enjoying their life and waiting for things to change outside of them. There's also the fortress, which suggests that they've gone really into themselves. They've shut other people out. So you may be in no or low contact with this person. There's also trustworthy, which is Taurus. So again, that earth energy. Um, so this person... For many of you, this person will be a trustworthy person, someone you can rely on in life, just not right now, is what I'm getting. I feel like at the moment, this person is very much thinking about themselves, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Got this cute little character here, which means that this person is possibly quite naive and childlike, childish perhaps even as well. Um, they may be younger than you. There's also this mature woman here. So it may not be that they're younger than you in years, but if you're the feminine in this connection, you're the more emotionally, mentally mature and stable one. Whereas they are being represented as more of like a childlike figure. There's also an olive branch. So I feel like this person will reach out eventually if you are in no contact. There's cookies, which is about treating yourself. Um, and that's landed on Wondrous Universe, so like I was talking about this person just enjoying their own life. Health, so, and healing as well with this starfish. You know, they grow back um, the limbs that they lose, they can grow them back, so it's like this person is getting to a more healthy state, getting to a more healthy mindset, etc. I've just realised I've left these, so... The flip-flop is about relaxation. It can be about taking a holiday, um, but in general, it's about putting your feet up and just not doing much. There's also good luck here with this horseshoe. Um, initials, you've got I, P, G, and F. So that could mean something to you as a first name, surname, or place in relation to this question. There's also a Russian doll, so... <laughs> Cute that this is my first video, YouTube video in Russia. Um, so this person could be Russian. They could have a Russian um, name, perhaps. So, you know, maybe they're called like Victor or something, but they're not Russian. Um, or maybe they've got Russian family history. They may speak Russian, um, be from a Russian speaking country, or there's some kind of connection with that there, um, with Russia. But that may be quite specific and only be for a few of you so if that's not for you that's fine you can discount it um but for some of you this will also mean because this is a matryoshka it's a russian doll um and when you open them there's a smaller doll inside them and when you open them again there's another one so it's like this person is hiding their true feelings like i said there's two masked figures here it's like they're they're putting on some kind of face to you and to the world but that's not how they're feeling on the inside. There's also this tape measure, which is about measuring up to expectations. So I feel like for a lot of you, this person is actually an all right person. They're just going through some tough times. And you have the crown here. This person is exercising their free will. They're being the sovereign in their life. Uh, sorry guys, somebody called me and my phone stopped um, videoing, um, but this means that they're, they're deciding what they need to do, they're exercising their free will and being um, focused on themselves. You've also got this protective hand, which is protecting against negative energies, and you've got the snowflake, which means winter. Interesting that there's also the Russian doll. And <laughs> this has come off one of my worry dolls. Um, it's like a little apron thing that he was wearing. So there is a sense of worry here, but because it's just come off the worry doll, I'm feeling like it's quite vague. Um, so they may be worried about things that are quite vague, um, or they may only be slightly worried, is what I'm getting. 
And there's also blessings here. So positive things will happen in the future. It's just going to take a while. Um, yeah, this person's going through a lot of different things. They're just focusing on themselves. So I hope this reading was helpful for you, group number two. Please let me know what you thought. Um, please let me know how it resonated with you in the comments below. Um, please leave me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I release a new video. I'm so excited because we're nearly at a thousand subscribers now, like we're not far off. And when I get there, I'll be able to do um, community posts. So I'll be able to write things and that will pop up on your feed so we can communicate like that. I'll be able to tell you what videos are coming up and things like that. So that's really, really exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and please do check out my Patreon page if you are interested in supporting the channel and looking at all of the rewards that are available on there would really make my day if you chose to support me like that, even if it was only a dollar a month. Um, everything that I make on that channel will go, sorry, on that page will go into the channel again through buying decks and props, but mainly decks. I'm really, I have so many decks in my mind that I want to use that are going to really diversify the channel and make it really exciting. Um, so please do check that out. That would really make me happy. It would be lovely to communicate with you over there. Like I said, there's exclusive videos and posts over there. Um, yes, so please check that out if you're feeling generous and lovely. So have a lovely, lovely day, group number two, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, who picked group number three with Masha. This is your reading. Welcome. We're going to find out um, why this person that you're thinking of is acting the way they are. So we're going to do your tarot cards first and then your oracle cards. And then we're going to look at your charms. So you've got ten of earth. Two of fire. Queen of air. And seven of water. Okay, so ten of earth is a card of of family and household. It's about financial abundance often, but um, there may be some family issues surrounding why the person is acting the way they are. Um, two of fire, this would be about business. So they may be doing really well in their business or in their creative projects, and that's why they're focusing on that. Um, this is also about a really good friendship or partnership in some way that's making progress. Queen of Air is about having strong boundaries and it's about, um, in a way, shutting off your feelings for someone. Um, it's like this very protective energy of the heart space. So if this person has been acting a bit cruelly towards you, has been a bit unkind, then that is the reason why they're feeling they need to like shut this connection off to protect themselves in some kind of way. And Seven of Water is about having lots of choices. It's about obsession as well. You could also be contacting this person only via the internet because this is the card of the internet. And just take a look, take a moment, pause the video if you need to, um, at these different cups on this picture because the chakra color of the cup that you choose, if there's one that's particularly calling your name, um, that will have a special meaning for you. In, in relation to this question. So there's very kind of, it's interesting because you've got the 10 of earth, which is a very certain card. It's very stable. And then seven of water is really not. So I'm curious to find out what your other cards are going to be. You actually got three sacred traveler cards and I only wanted one. So let's see what they have to say. So you've got breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. You've got wise leader, you are a beacon for others. And protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. Okay, so breaking trail, this is like the two of fire. They're having some progress in some area of their life, probably business or creativity, um, or with some kind of friendship or partnership um, that's making progress. And that is taking their energy away from this connection or that's influencing the way they're acting. Wise leader, 
This would make me think of the Queen of Air because she is very independent and wise, um, experienced. People are kind of drawn to them. There's some situation in their life right now where people are expecting them to be a leader or to be someone who's very upright and that's affecting the way that they are acting. And protected by angels is just saying that they're being, they're being protected but they're also possibly being guided to act the way that they are. So let's look at your moonology card now. You've got your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So this person may be feeling like their commitment to a certain project is being tested, like their commitment to their job, their business, their creativity is being tested and they have to show a certain amount of of renewed commitment to that. They may have been slacking, neglecting it for other reasons and now they've got to really focus on that again. This may also be that this person is testing your commitment to them and if that's the case, I think you need to walk away from this person because that is not um, a healthy way of going about things. Let's look at your romance angel card. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this person is definitely laying down some kind of boundaries um, and this could be to do with the fact that they've got some some healing to do. They may be feeling kind of... Um, unloved or disrespected based on what's happened in their past and they're going through healing. Hmm. But if it's not a romantic connection for you, that's fine. You can just um, discount this. So let's look at your Antwort und der Engel oracle cards now. These are German cards. Um, if you're new to my channel, I did say at the start that I've just moved to Russia, but before then I lived in Germany for a little while, so I got these cards there. So you've got Vergebung, Forgiveness. And es liegt ganz an dir. It's totally up to you. So this person may be doing some forgiving. They may be forgiving themselves or forgiving another person. Um, and es liegt ganz an dir. This normally means that this situation, it's totally up to you. But I think it's like it's them instead. It's them determining what happens in their life. They're kind of taking back a lot of control. They're taking back a lot of the power in what happens in this situation and it's up to you now to decide whether you're going to continue a connection with this person or if you're going to cut them out or take a step back um, while they do their healing and work on you know focus on their own things that's what's up to you okay so let's look at your divine circus oracle card now you've got alice so Alice, it's Alice in Wonderland, and this is about new worlds opening up for the person that you're thinking of. So this person may have been given a new offer or contract. Um, they may have been offered to go somewhere, you know, move to some place, work in a new company. Um, they may have another romantic offer from another person. It's saying that new worlds are opening up to them. I'm going to actually read a bit from the guidebook because this guidebook is so beautiful. So Alice says, new worlds are calling you forth where the old rules don't apply. It might seem strange or freeing or wild or even scary at first, but you are meant to explore these new worlds. You will gain so much from the experience. There's no need to be afraid. So this person is being called to do something, leaving behind the life they knew before and the way of doing things that they had before. And... That's like this protected by the angels. They are definitely being called to do this. So this is something they need to do. Um, whether that fits in with your view of them and your relationship or not, this is something they need to explore for their own sake. Um, they're going to gain valuable experience and knowledge from this. Um, but that is what's affecting this relationship right now. So I'm going to draw some charms for you, group number three. So group three, why is the person you're thinking about acting this way? Okay. So you've got kiss here. They may have kissed you or they may want to kiss you or someone's kissed them and that's opened up this kind of new offer for them. There's also this little crown, so this is about self-determination, free will, doing what they want to do and what's right for them. There's this deer, which is about innocence, possible naivety. Um, there's S, R, 
B, G, and P as your initials, so lots of initials. That could be a first name, surname, or place in relation to this connection. You've also got this galaxy, which is like being blinded by something, being like seeing stars. So it's very similar to the seven of water energy, actually. Like don't let yourself be blinded by this person or this situation. Make sure that you're seeing it clearly for what it is and that you're not seeing the fantasy. You've also got a key here. So that's your solution to this situation. And you've got a princess. So there is someone a feminine energy in this connection who is being treated really well and if that doesn't sound like you and this is a romantic connection then this is po possibly a third party situation for you whether you know it or not there's warrior so this person's going through a lot and there is this gauntlet here which is about challenging someone so they feel challenged there's another key here so another solution the lone wolf Someone who's quite lonely or doing things on their own. It's creativity here, this ink pot. And treasure map. It's like they're looking for something special. They're looking for their bliss, their treasure. And there's a wish being granted here, this shooting star. This is the Black Knight. This means that someone or some... No, it means that someone is not showing who they really are. They're not showing their true motives or their true identity. It can also mean that like an unexpected stranger is coming into your life or into this situation. So I feel like for some of you, this is a third party situation that you don't know about if this is a romantic connection or it's just that this person just isn't being straight with you. You've also got the worry doll, so worries. There's a wrench for fixing things and potential and new beginnings with this acorn so that's landed on your commitment is being tested i feel like someone here is really trying to repair this relationship and is seeing this relationship for the potential that it has there's waiting here and this is the six of wands it's the hallelujah good news are on their way victory is coming so that's very positive and you have got the movie camera which is like lights, camera, action, being ready to do something all of a sudden. It can also mean this person has an interest in photography or filming, so they may be a YouTuber um, or something of that nature. I just, there is something positive on its way in terms of this relationship. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this card is protected by angels and the charm you've got here is protected. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Double message there. So... The swallow, something or someone is returning. So this may be that this person comes back to you if they're in a period of low or no contact with you. Um, or it could be that someone has come back into their life. Maybe their ex has come back and that's shaken things up for them. Or someone from their past. There's also Easter Bunny, so springtime. Um, it's also about surprises or Easter as a holiday. So we are... Um, in springtime now if you're watching this when I film this so that's got some influence on this connection there's also olive branch so someone reaching out like I said someone from their past may have reached out to them um, and that has left them questioning their connection there's also this skull which is about um, leaving things behind that no longer serve you releasing things letting things go there is a love heart here and a skeleton, so things from the past which are negative, shameful, hurtful. There's seduction and allure, manipulation sometimes as well, and compatible heart. So there is some kind of like romantic situation going on here for many of you. There's live, love, laugh, which indicates this person is just trying to enjoy their life and simplify their life. They don't want to be burdened anymore. And there's haunted house. So this person is haunted by something. Again, possibly something from their past um, is haunting them or has come back to haunt them. There is this racehorse, which is about someone doing something very quickly. It's landed on the two of fire, so quick progress in something probably. There's also a sword, which is about battle, battling. 
The screwdriver is like fixing things again and making them more stable. You've got the Kajikaeus, and this is the Greek god Hermes or Roman god Mercury, whatever you want to call him, um, is showing up in your connection, um, in your question. And this is saying that he's willing to work with you if that's something you're open to. If not, that's fine. You can just discount this message. Um, but if you want to connect with Hermes or Mercury through meditation, through prayer, or through just saying aloud, I'm here, I'm willing to work with you, please help me, um, then that's coming through as a very strong sign in this reading. It's also about health and communication. And the Jolly Roger, this is interesting because you've got the Black Knight, which is about an unexpected stranger or about someone not showing their identity. But the Jolly Roger is about someone showing their true colors, showing you who they really are and you need to believe them. So if this person in the past there were things you didn't know about them and that's now come to light or this person is now behaving in a way that you completely don't associate with them with the image of them that you once had then this is actually who they truly are and I'm sorry if that's not the message you want to hear but it's basically saying you need to accept that this is who they are even if you don't like that sorry and you have a dragonfly here for good luck and you also have grace so this is an interesting reading group number three. It seems like this person has had some kind of development in their life. They've possibly had someone in the past, from the past get back in touch or some kind of um, old issue has resurfaced and that's affecting how they're behaving. Um, again, I'm sorry if the messages in this reading weren't exactly what you wanted to hear, but it's important that I really give you the, the truthful um, guidance in answer to your question and don't just tell you what you want to hear because then you're not going to get um, anything that's of any use to you. So I do hope this resonated with you group number three. Please let me know in the comments if it did. Um, really love connecting with you there. Please leave me a like if you enjoyed this reading and please subscribe to my channel if you um, want to be notified whenever I release a new video. I'm really excited because we're getting close to a thousand subscribers now and when we get there I'll be able to use community posts which means I'll be able to get in touch with you um, via the face, not the Facebook feed, via the YouTube um, feed. You'll be able to see things that I post on there um, and I'll be able to tell you about what videos are coming up and that kind of thing so that's really really exciting. Um, yeah, please do check out my Patreon page as well. There's a load of exclusive stuff on there. I will be posting a new video on there soon. Um, and like I said, there's monthly um, prize draws to win a reading with me. So that's really, really exciting. And it would just make my day if you chose to, to support me and my channel in that way, to know that you really enjoy what I upload here. Is, it's such a vote of confidence. It would really make my day even if it's just a dollar a month, everything will go into buying new decks and props for this channel, mainly decks. I've got loads that I want to buy that are going to really diversify the channel and make it more exciting. So really looking forward to that. Do check that out. It's in the description box. Um, and have a lovely day, group number three. I'm really sending you lots of loving, positive energy, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.